Hi Cancer Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine from Carrot 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Cancer. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread, mind, body, and spirit. This is completely impromptu. Um, this is what I have for set up here for you. I was not intending to do a reading. I'm currently traveling, so this is what I have. And I hope that that's okay. The air system is also blowing um, as I'm near the closest spot where there's the most light. So I just ask that you bear with me here and hopefully these messages will be helpful for you. All right, so in the mind here. Let's see what we have for your first card. We have the Queen of Swords. All right. So being in one's power to cut shit off, that does not serve. Also, I feel that um, there's a stimulation of intellect here. You could be learning something new. This is being of logic, but it's also very bright, very sociable, highly intelligent. Highly intuitive as well. Just very knowledgeable energy here. This is um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I do feel that there's greater clarity and a greater knowing here with the past new moon phase. I'm getting that some of you could be moving away from a king of sword energy. With that being counterpart energy. And very much looking forward to the future and what's next. Now, I'm seeing the sword here, and that's where I'm getting that energy of moving forward and the way that it's packed in this card here, where it's not necessarily being wielded, it's not being used, it's not being held out. I'm getting also, too, you have your eye on a particular person, your focus. I'm getting focused, being focused on what it is that you want. And that being strong with having boundaries and cutting off what does not serve you. But also not allowing uh, mistruths here. I'm just getting, you know, there being a opportunity for bullshit to come your way and you're just ready to be in that truth, to represent that truth, to be able to completely dissolve it and disseminate it all together. This being a very powerful energy here with that queen. This is a part of the empress energy here. Taking your power back away from energies who want to overpower. I will say that um, this is probably like the sixth attempt that I'm doing for your reading here where a King of Swords did come through. And that's why I'm getting the energy of you moving away. A lot of you being focused on yourself and what it is that you want for yourself and not what an overpowering and overcontrolling narcissistic type behavior may want for you. So I'm also feeling too, you're not... This, this Queen of Swords energy, it's a beautiful energy. Queen of Swords has gone through a lot in order to get to where it is that they are as this Queen of Swords. But I just feel there's a more delicacy energy of you wanting to really truly be in your Queen of Cup energy. And having to put on this Queen of Swords here to be able to get into that and to really embrace because you've leveled up and are focused. Focus on being the Queen of Cup that you know how to be. You could be male or female here. But that's just speaking to you being in your power here is what I'm getting. Where, again, in those past readings I did, it was a very strong overpowering energy where I feel a lot of you have leveled up and left someone behind here because of them being over-controlling. Okay, let's see what we have for the body. And I feel it's that King of Swords right there. It's that Five of Cups. Wanting to be in the midst of your focus with this being body energy and it being more physical energy, but your mind is very strong. Being in this power here of the sword energy and that being connected to the mind and intellect, with that being in the mind section, you're golden. You're completely golden. Um, with this five of cup, I am seeing a cracked cup here and four cups on top of that, then possibly not taking an opportunity when it came to you and being in major regrets here. Cups is your energy of water, but then it's also Scorpio, Pisces, and a fucus. Five is very transformative energy. 
this could also be a hair fine energy here too as well uh with the king of sword i do feel there was a lot of um over logical energy here with the overpowering there's a lot of overage it just being over the top completely overdoing it over the top overage overage over 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 and you being completely over it and so with that and you being over it it's completing a cycle here where there is um now some transformation with that five energy that's coming through as a part of this five of cup and there being major regret and i don't even want to keep this here because i feel that your focus is beyond this i just feel that this energy wants to be in the way with that being in the body section wants to be in the way of what it is that you do have but nothing can block what it is that you have from within especially when it comes to your mind here too as well being underestimated here too heavily and just mistaken for being some regular or you know some no nancy not to say that you're you know above anyone it just i just feel that you're destined what what it is that you're here for is completely beyond what most people are here for and you're just not here for the la la stuff here all right let's see what we have for your spirit card not that person i feel this belongs to the five of cups um but in your spirit here with the moon being in reverse the moon being your card here with the moon being the ruler of cancer i just feel that this is about an uncovering and there being uh exposure but i just feel you're completely over that your focus is wanting to be on you and what it is that represents you i'm going to move these cards here because i feel that these are pertaining to the same person here and it just being about the truth coming out about a particular person here who's very much obsessed with you. They may try to keep themselves very much attached to you and have a problem and have an issue getting over you because they're a major regret of taking advantage of an opportunity that was very blessed. And that just confirms what we have here with that King of Swords coming out. All these three cards here align together. Just getting that being a part of that energy here. But I do feel you're moving beyond this. But also with your focus, I feel you're also manifesting the truth coming to light. So that could be why we have these cards here. I just don't feel that this represents, you know, you as mind, body, and spirit. You being very strong in the mind to manifest what it is that you want. So we're going to keep going until we see what it is that you want. So what do we have for body? Yeah, I'm not getting that either. This is just more of the story of this person here. King of Wands in reverse. Someone who's very unstable, ungrounded. Um, I'm getting a cheater. There's a misrepresentation of who it is that they are, where they may be seen as a, a certain staple of the community, but they're being seen right through as more people are coming into awakening and awareness of their own truths and being able to see through bullshit, just like you're able to see through bullshit with these cards here. And me too. Let's go ahead and keep moving here. Wands is fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and Fucus. This is you. So with this four energy, I'm getting an emperor as well. King energy is a part of the emperor. We have the king of wands reverse, the king of swords. This is someone who's very over controlling, overpowering, um, over, over, over. And then they're even over here and when they're upside down. It's this king of wands here. Even in the moon card in reverse here. Not putting action into things that they should have. Not being able to be one who uses their intuition very well either. They're more focused on outside influences rather than them true selves. Their true selves here. So with this being in the body section that I am feeling for you, I do feel that this is about the abundant person that you are and what it is that you bring to the table. You're a very blessed individual here who has highly unique ancestral powers. A strong high priestess energy is also what I'm getting here. Ten, being connected to Capricorn energy, which is your polarity energy. I do feel this may even be someone that is outside of you here, too. Another individual here who is here to be with you and to protect you. But I feel, again, that this is about what you're manifesting. You seeing this from within yourself and now it beginning to flourish. 
on the outside in the physical as this body energy you staying focused on what it is that you want which is your will of fortune things being in your favor turning in your favor because you put a lot of hard work in you've been very graceful by not wielding that sword when you very much have every right to be with this honing in and um, abuse of power and disrespect of your boundaries and your energy here so i just see this as great fortune that's coming to you given what it is that you've dealt with when it comes to a particular energy like this and this could be more than one person that you've had to deal with with all of these energies here where they're now in major regret here and it coming to light and i'm also seeing their own behavior but their behavior also being brought to the surface here too as well with them wanting to still remain attached to you and not move on tens are about endings coming into new beginnings as well but i feel I'm, I'm starting to feel like this is another person like with you embracing this energy and you staying focused keeping your vision you're manifesting this abundance coming through and this could be very well a beautiful person that's coming through to, to give back to you to provide this to you to give you the happy ending that you've been deserving for so long after overcoming this particular energy here. For spirit, we have the four of pentacles. Yeah, so again, it just goes back to that focus. You staying focused and making sure you hold on to what is rightfully yours. This is a card of the emperor here too. And so with this coming out after the will of fortune, but this also being in your spirit, I feel this is this is definitely about an embracement here of a king energy that you're manifesting as a counterpart energy here that's very significant. It's very blessed. It's very balanced. It's very equal. I'm seeing two eight energies here, both wrapped in sacral energy. There's a very strong sexual energy that's between you two here as well. This is great abundance, not just with money, but with love and also um, intimacy and romance. That's also what I'm getting here. And this being an emperor energy, with this being a four pinnacle as the minor arcana, I just feel it speaks to the more delicacy of this energy that wanted to come through in the first place. And that just being more attractive for you and to you with the Cancerian energy that you hold as a very soft, safe and secure and protecting energy as well, but also being about unconditional love. This is also your energy here with the four energy. And four is also being connected to stability. And it even being more of your polarity energy of Capricorn here with the Pentacles energy of Earth and then also Taurus and Virgo. So Taurus energy could be, I, I just feel it's all of the Earth signs here that are very important here. 88 could be significant as I'm seeing that there with the four Pentacles wrapped in that beautiful ribbon and the infinity symbol being connected to this as well. And that just speaking to the uh, major amount of prosperity and abundance that is um rightfully yours here and is very much being protected with this four pinnacle and holding on to that energy very very tightly very safely and securely and making sure that um you know there is no interference here beautiful energy let's see what's on the bottom yeah beautiful we have the three of pinnacles and notice where i put it i just feel that this is between you and this person here Great things are being manifested for you in the physical here where you are now receiving reciprocity and someone and people working together with you here in collaboration here. With this Three of Pentacles, I'm um, also getting that lower vibe energy where uh, someone may have tried to paint a third party situation. It's not third party if you guys were never together to begin with. And I feel that this is just a karmic cycle that's been playing out over some centuries possibly here too with the Egyptian energy that's coming through but something that's playing out so that it can completely be closed and illusions can be completely put to the side um, with you coming into your moon power very strongly being in this queen of sword energy of not taking any more bullshit I just feel that um, you know your your heart has been affected throughout these cycles here to where you said no more you've had enough and um third party situation is not what you represent i feel that three of pinnacle is definitely about a representation of the fire from within you and someone else here and putting your minds together your physicality together and making things happen making your magic happen 
The infinity symbol is also above the crown of the Magi in the, in the uh, Magician card. And also in the Strength card, not being a card of eight as well. We do have those eights there. So two people being very strong to protect what it is that they have now that they have greater awareness and knowing of the truth of a situation. This could be male or female here. Take what resonates, but you're collaborating, working very well together and others working together with you to make your magic happen. Cancer Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.